What's good, YouTube? It's Emezzy. Uh, today I had a, a quick video, quick tutorial, just addressing something I found an issue with on Pro Tools 10. Uh, I recently got Pro Tools 10, uh, probably about two weeks ago or so, and when I installed Pro Tools 10 for the first time and had all my authorization and everything all done, and I put my iLock in and ran it, I had no plugins. I deleted it, reinstalled it like three or four times, still no plugins. So then, doing research as I'm reinstalling it and installing it, I uh, some people were saying that you had to delete everything on your computer, back it up, of course, so you don't delete anything important, and then reinstall it all and reinstall Pro Tools. Now, when I read to do that, I was like, that's a bigger headache, and that's a lot more to do. So, I was going around, and, you know, some people even said, you know, why don't you try taking the DigiDesign folder inside your application support. And you go to library, application support, take this one, and then copy it over into your Avid folder. And I had tried that, and that didn't even work. But one day, I was on the computer trying to figure out why Pro Tools wasn't working, and I decided to say, well, why don't I try going to Finder, go to my Macintosh HD, Library, Application Support, DigiDesign, and then copying the Plugins and Plugins Unused folder into my Applications, Avid, Pro Tools, Plugins folder. When I first plugged in, when I went, when I first uh, opened up my plugins folder in in my applications drawer or box on my dock, there was nothing there. The only thing that was there was this Time Shift plugin guide, this Time Shift, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Read Me PDF. So I tried that, and then when I plugged in Pro Tools for the first time, it actually worked. So now, when I run Pro Tools, after plugging in my iLock, it works. But before that, with Pro Tools running in the background, nothing nothing came up. There was nothing at all. All I had was an empty plugins folder right here. So to explain it to you guys again, so you guys can see what I did, you're going to go to Macintosh HD, then you're going to go to the library, then you go to Application Support, DigiDesign. Then you're going to take the Plugins folder, Plugins, Plugin Unused, because that's where all your plugins are. You're going to Command C or click and drag. Then go to Applications on your dock, Avid, Pro Tools, Plugins, and then drop them in there. And that should work 100%. Like there should be no other issues. You know, if you if you want, just to make sure everything's okay. Delete Pro Tools first, then reinstall it and do that, because that that means like you know it's all clean. You haven't used it yet. You know you know everything's gonna be okay. But I mean even just doing that, you should be perfectly fine. Um, I don't know why that happened. I know recently with Pro Tools, there's been a couple issues that are kind of buggy with some of the other things. Like I know Sibelius or Sibilis, uh, the notation program for composition was crashing on a lot of people and people were complaining about it and some people were saying oh well you gotta delete this or do this and hopefully I mean they'll come up with an update or something that'll fix that or maybe they'll just drop Pro Sibelius 8 or something you know but I hope that works I hope that helps everyone out that's been having that issue on Mac OS X um, comment rate subscribe or like the video now uh, if you have any other questions just PM me or you can tweet me at twitter.com slash Eli Mezzi. I'm pretty good about responding to tweets or even a uh, message or a comment below. I hope that helps everyone and have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Got more music coming, more things on the way. If you want, you can check out my SoundCloud. I just uploaded a new song, soundcloud.com slash Comment, rate, subscribe, or like the video. And I'll see you guys later.